Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest tutorial. This is a foam board project, sword project. This is how to make a lucid data from Sword Art Online. Um, a lot of people ask for this project. It's very popular, so finally I said, well, you know, let me go ahead and make it. It's foam board, some paint, some glue, not a whole lot to it, and I give you, and it looks really good. I, I love this part here. It's like a rising sun or something, like a sun pattern. And I give you the template. In the description of this video is the link to get this. It's a free download. You just download it, you print it up, and it gives you all the parts so you can make yours too. Um, thanks for watching this video. If you're a subscriber, thank you very much for that. If you're not, hit that button. I, I get lots of fun and interesting projects. I do two new videos every week. Um, and um, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, leave a project suggestion because I do read all comments. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you out of your creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, print up the template and cut out the pieces. The template is, the link to the template is in the description of this video down below. It's a free download and you can just print it up. Ours we're using like this lime color for ours, but yours will be white to save on ink. This is just so you can see it better. Cut out those pieces. You can also use an X-Acto knife if you want them and a ruler to make nice straight cuts if you want. This is really a pretty simple sword to put together. And then uh, now assemble the pieces like this. This makes the major sword, and on each piece it shows you which goes to what. And it's in the template with a little illustration. Tape all those pieces together if you haven't done it. And then place them on foam board and trace them. Make two of them. Now, if you don't have a long enough piece of foam board, you, you can use cardboard for this too. Um, you know, do it in sections. Make about a, a third and two thirds on one sheet of foam board, and then two thirds and a third on the other sheet of foam board, foam board so they overlap and you can glue them together. You know, don't make them half and half and half and half. The overlap line will be in the same spot. You still can't build the sword. So there you go. And cut them out. Take your time. And to cut foam board, a quick technique is make three passes. The first pass cuts the top layer of paper. Second pass cuts the foam. The third pass cuts the bottom layer of paper. And use a nice sharp knife. It makes a difference when cutting foam board. And there you go, you have two pieces. Now we're going to bevel these, because the sword has a nice beveled edge on it. So mark, the, mark, mark them like this, with a little mark, so you know which side to bevel. And then you can use an X-Acto knife at an angle to do this, or if you have a, a tool like this, a foam tool, for cutting bevels, that's wonderful. But you don't, if you don't have that, that's fine. You just go at an angle with a sharp knife. You do the left and the right. See how that is nice like that? But only this side of the sword. See, you got the mark on it. And bevel around the edge like this of some of these parts. In that uh, wonderful sun, rising sun guard it looks like. It's almost all the way around. But this bevel does make a nice, give it a nice look. So now you've done the other sword too, the other things here, it's all done. And this one, then you next will glue those together like this. You can use, use hot glue, you can use white glue, whatever you've got. And if you're using white glue, let me show you a quick little tip here. When you put them together, you kind of roll them on each other a little bit to spread the glue out. 
You put it on and then you kind of roll it around. See like this, like that, see it? That spreads the glue out, makes a nice even gluing. And then, now this is optional, but you might want to do this. Put glue on the edge and then clean it up with your finger. This does a couple of things. This makes the sword stronger. It also um, seals the foam because if you use spray paint on it, it'll protect that foam from being uh, eaten away by the spray paint. It's like a protective coating. Some paints will eat that foam. So if you haven't done it already, um, cut out the handle pieces and the ornaments. Those are parts um, F and G. They go like this on top of, they will go on top of the other side, but tape those together. Put it on foam board and trace two of them. You know, interesting project. I've never really done, done a project in this vein. I usually do fantasy stuff, video game, different video game stuff. Not, I never did, you know, anything sort out online. If this is popular, maybe I'll do another one. Let me know what you think. Cut out two of those, and they're going to go on the sword like this for the handle. See, like that? Really looks good. Not a whole lot to this sword. So we'll mark it, and we're going to bevel them just like we did the um, blade sections. Just put a mark on there so you know which side is which. You don't want to bevel it upside down. See, it looks good. Makes a big difference. But there's more beveling to do. And glue those on to the sword. Right, roll it around a little bit and then set it in place. Flip it over and do the other one. And this sword is built. Next we're going to do how to paint it. Well, um, you might want to put a book on it if you to help it to dry nice and strong and let that glue dry if you use the white glue. If you use the hot glue, it'll be done in a matter of 30 seconds. So now, if you have some Mod Podge, go ahead and seal it. This protects it, gives it more gloss, and will help preserve it for a longer period of time. So now let's do the ornaments. You know, just rough cut them out of the template and um, glue stick them down or glue them down to cereal box cardboard. We do this because we want it to be raised up a little bit on the sword and then cut them out. And glue them on. The four small diamond-like ornaments go on the sword here. And that flourish goes here, near the tip of the sword. Right like that. Very nice. So, let's do the handle. You can paint it black if you want, but the black might rub off on your hands a little bit. So if you have electrical tape or black duct tape, go ahead and wrap the handle like this. It'll be better for your hands. Less wear on it. And now we're going to paint the rest of it. So, um, you can go ahead and paint it by hand. You can even use a ruler to draw lines on there and use a paintbrush and paint it. If you want nice straight lines, you can do something like this. Use painter's tape to mask off the bevels because the bevels are going to stay white. And the rest of it's going to be black, except for the little ornaments. Those will be silver. But take your time 
you know, either if you're painting by hand or if you're not, if you're masking. I masked all the way around like this. It takes a little bit of work to get the mask nice. Nice thing about painter's tape is once you're done painting, it comes up real easy without damaging the foam board. If you use masking tape, be careful because pulling it up might damage the foam board. And go ahead and paint it all black, except for those ornaments. And the only two colors we need for this sort are black and silver. I, I left the white parts just foam board. If you used cardboard, you want to paint those parts white. What it comes down to on this is you never paint the bevels. The bevels are always white. There we go. I should have used a bigger brush. It would have went faster. Yeah. Let's finish this thing off. Silver for those ornaments. And silver for that flourish there. And there you go. You have made Elucidator. Give me a thumbs up. Fun project. Let me know what you think. If it really turns out to be popular, maybe I'll do Dark Repulsor too. Because people ask for that one too. And you can remove your tape and do some touch-up painting. I did a little touch-up painting. I didn't show it here, I don't think. Just to clean up those lines. Make them crisper. But it looks good. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.